hi guys welcome back to another quick video at least i'm hoping that i can make this a very quick uh, video uh because you guys you don't uh want to watch very long videos that's what i've realized on this channel so i'm going to make it a very quick and short uh, video today's video is going to be answering a question that i was asked on a previous video about building a trading plan somebody asked me on a previous video people are always talking about building a trading plan so what do i need to look at how do i build my own trading plan so i'm just going to explain that in this quick video hopefully it's going to be a quick one so what you need to come up with your own trading plan number one i'm hoping that uh, you are writing down some of these things so uh, if you have uh, pen and paper great so write down number one it's trading style that's the first thing that you want to think about what we mean about a trading style uh, there are various trading styles that are used in uh, trading. We have uh, scalpers, uh, people who actually enjoy uh, trading on the one minute time frame, for example, or the five minute time frame. They are like uh, go in, go in, uh, go out, uh, go in, go out, go in, go out. Uh, they can uh, take a number of trades uh, during the trading day because they are trading on the one minute time frame five minute time frame sometimes a 15 minute uh, time frame but uh, these are guys uh, who like are uh, just looking for opportunities quick opportunities quick opportunities uh, in the markets um, they're not looking for very much a movement in the markets they're just looking to capitalize on quick movements on the market then we have uh, people who do day trading people who do day trading basically are people who like uh, just a uh, trade sometimes on the one hour it depends for our 30 minutes uh, it depends but basically day traders are just looking for opportunities during the day and most of the time they don't hold trades overnight then we've got uh, what are called swing traders. Uh, mostly swing traders are playing on the four hour time frame, uh, which is uh, one of my best time frames. I, I consider myself a swing trader. Sometimes I double in uh, day trading or I sometimes uh, do a scalping when it's news, but I consider myself in the long term a swing trader. So uh, most swing traders are playing on the four hour time frame and they can hold a single trade for several days for several days you can hold a trade for several days in order to maximize on the return for that there are advantages and disadvantages for all these trading styles um, do some research on that then we have what called uh, position traders these are like uh, the big guys uh, um, you can find them trading the daily I've seen people who actually trade the daily time frame and sometimes they can even uh, go on to the weekly or because these guys when we say position traders these guys can hold trades even for months even for a whole year they can hold that position so um it's not me it's not my style i like to see the money uh, coming in so but i'm not uh, also nowadays because i've got a lot of things that i do i'm no longer also able to just be on the five minute 15 minute one minute time frame uh, to just look for those scalping trades so i'm basically a swing trader so the first thing that you want to do is come up with a trading style then obviously the trading style is going to influence the time frame that you are going to be focusing on like i said if you're a position trader you're going to be focusing on the higher time frames if you're a swing trader four hourly daily is your main your like your bread and butter if you're a day trader more usually 30 minute one hour sometimes 15 minute you can still play with some of these uh time frames as well even if you are still a swing trader or day trader or something like that then obviously the scalpers they mostly play on the one minute five minute uh, time frames so uh, second thing is time frame and time frame is influenced by the trading style that you have chosen then number three for your trading style 
you need to come up with a system uh, what do i mean by a system uh, some people use indicators uh, some people rely on the fibonacci some people rely on like i have yes supply and demand support and resistance uh, whatever you call it uh, some people rely on moving averages some people rely on uh, i can ashi some people rely on you need now to decide on your core indicators um i usually encourage people not to go beyond three if you go beyond three indicators you, you are now just creating a noise for yourself you probably just need one major indicator that you, you rely on for your entries maybe one or two just to confirm whatever that major indicator is telling you then you have a system going on some people actually just rely on one thing some people have seen people who just trade a moving average that's it some people will just play with the fibonacci that's it so decide on an indicator that you're going to use if you're going to use an uh, indicators don't be tempted don't be tempted to trade with a thousand indicators on your charts don't do it then uh, number four stop losses you need to decide on how you are going to place stop losses Plus stop losses are critical because they tell us when we are wrong and you need the market to tell you when you are wrong so a stop loss is important so you need to decide whether you're going to uh, use the textbook 30 pips or you're going to uh, go 12 to 20 pips are you going to go to 100 pips is also going to be influenced by uh, the trading style that you would have chosen that's why i started with trading style so everything that i'm talking about now uh, time frame indicator stop loss uh, you will realize that it's tied to this trading style that you are looking at uh, the stop loss for somebody who is doing swing trading is not the same for somebody who is doing scalping you get what i'm what i'm saying then also number five you need to look at entries how are you going to enter now how are you going to enter the markets uh, it's crucial your trading style then is also how do you enter the market some people use patterns m's and w's some people rely on their fibonacci some people rely on the price touching the trend line or it touches the moving averages and stuff like that uh, some people are looking at candles like um, uh, what, what 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 do they call them engulfing candles they are looking for stars morning stars evening stars uh, uh, haramis and uh, things like that so you now need to decide on your trading style how do you enter the market are you looking for m's and w's are you looking for bounces of your moving averages are you looking for bounces of your supply and demand or stuff like that so that's part of your trading plan you need to know you need to know how you're going to enter the market then you need to decide on what to do regarding news are you going to be somebody who stays off the market when major news announcements are coming up or are you going to be somebody who is going to be uh, trading with the news because i trade a uh, swing trading and i'm sure this is true also for uh, position traders we don't really uh, measure much uh, like uh, con consider much of the news because you find that on the higher time frames the candles are usually like they don't they are, they don't show you where the news hit because on the higher time frames usually the news has been factored into the movement of the price but on the lower time frames lower time frames that's where you are going to usually see massive spikes that are caused by news let's see if we can see there's a spike here this is usually news that does this but you would see you would miss that on the uh, four hourly time frames on the four hourly time frame you usually don't get that so if you're going to be scalping or day trading of course news is a major component of that and you are going to need to decide on 
are you going to be trading with the news or are you not going to trade when news uh, comes up but if you are on swing trading on higher time frames the position trading usually news doesn't matter so yeah then uh, another point is trade management you need to have a plan for managing trades how are you going to manage your trades when you are winning how are you going to manage your trades when you are losing and importantly how are you going to exit your trades you need to have an idea of how to exit it's important it's important how you enter a trade it's important how you manage a trade how you exit the market sometimes people exit too early and they leave a lot of money on the table sometimes people exit late and again they end up having the the uh, the market turning against them and they end up losing a lot of money that should they should have closed out at so you need to also consider your exits which ties in with a risk to reward you need to always have a plan for risk to reward ratio are you risking enough to make money but not risking so much that you blow your account so you need to come up with a risk to reward ratio for your trading plan so your trading plan will have one your trading style two time frame that you're going to focus on three the indicators that you're going to focus on four your stop loss understand your stop loss five your entries six are you going to be trading with news or are you going to be avo avoiding the news seven trade management how are you going to manage the trades once you enter the trades eight how are you going to exit the markets then number nine risk to reward ratios those are the components that you need for your trading plan if this video has helped you please feel free to subscribe like the video uh, see the broker that i use the links are in the description box below one of the best brokers in the world otherwise guys i'll see you in the next one bye